This is Dallas Braden, and you are listening to Jim on Bass. Welcome back to another episode of the Jim on Bass Show. We're here at the Coliseum in Oakland with uh, the great, the hero of the Valley, uh, Dallas Braden. How's it going, Dallas? I'm doing well, Jimmy. How you doing, brother? Doing good. It's great to see you. It's always fun to see your beard. You know, I'm curious, how do you style it in the morning? Like, Well, you know what? Uh, shout out to Duke Cannon because they keep me oiled nice and fresh. It used to be my wife's homemade blend. Made the move to Duke. The beard wash is phenomenal. This is this is not a, not a placement ad here. I really believe in the product. It makes me look... Um, I don't know if presentable is the right word. Borderline presentable yeah. at best. Well, you got a nice cap, so it's a whole look. It's like a vibe you got going on. It has to be. It has to be a vibe, right? I mean, you, you, we're here at the ballpark. They get to wear a costume. Why can't I? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, I think it's so cool to talk to you because I grew up in the very exotic city of Tracy. Oh, and you're wow. from Stockton, right? The 209. The Bulldogs. Yeah, we used to tame the Bulldogs back in the day when I was at Amos Alonzo Stag wow. High School. Stag State, that's right. Represent. <laughs> That's some good knowledge. That's right. Oh, yeah, I know all about the Tracy Bulldogs. We used to smack the Tracy Raiders around, too, in Pop Warner football. West Stockton Bears. West Stock. <laughs> well, where do you live now? Right? Do you ever make it out to Stockton? I heard you're, you still make appearances, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. I've got uh, I've, I've got nieces and nephews still in Stockton. Uh, a couple of them are athletes. I've got a ball player. Uh, my other nephew's a ball player in Sacramento. Uh, nieces are in gymnastics. So I, okay. I get home and – or I get what, home. I get to Stockton. Uh, a lot during the baseball season, so I can I can see them and, and be around them. So, again, baseball yeah. bringing me back home. Who are you away from the game though? What are you into? Is it music? Are you into golf? What's kind of your hobbies? Uh, I golfed. I, I am. Well, when I say golf, that was something that I that, that I think every retired ball player gets into initially, right? Like I don't think you're allowed into heaven unless you try to golf as a retired ball yeah. player at some point in time. So I did that whole thing. I love the outdoors. Uh, I spent a lot of time. I uh, used to spend a lot of time fishing. Uh, now with my my daughters, I am daddy centric, man. So it's <laughs> jujitsu with my girls. Uh, they just started soccer. Um, softball will start, or baseball will start next off season. But what I'm into is spending time with my wife and spending time with my kids because I don't get to do a ton of that during the summer. Mm -hmm. They do get to come on the road and travel with me, so so that's that's awesome. Uh, I'm a big I'm a big collector of baseball cards, mm -hmm. right. so that's where I spend a lot of my downtime in the off season as well. But really, anything outdoors with my family is what's putting a smile on my face. What do you guys do to connect? Is it watching a show or? Uh, well, we, well, where we live, we've got we've got a, a ton of property behind us, so we've got acres and acres that we can go and cruise and hike, uh, enjoy wildlife. Uh, but as I said, jujitsu is a big part of our life. Uh, it's a big part of what we do. So we spend a lot of time together on the mats together uh, as a family. So that that is uh, again just teaching them discipline, self-respect, and, and how to be a, be a part of a, a, an entity bigger than yourself. Uh, and when you work at a gym or you are a, a team member of any sport, you get that vibe. And that's my, that's my job, is to teach them how to create their own vibe, right? So you're basically telling me, don't mess with you, don't get on your bad side. Oh, no, I mean, it's, 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 <laughs> that's the thing, is it's, it's the gentle art, right? So it's all about understanding and appreciating where you fit in and how to use what you've got going on against or what you've got going on, how can I utilize that? So uh, you just got to learn how to defend yourself. It's important, especially for my girls. Well, I had Evan Longori on recently, and he talked about getting into the memorabilia, the card game. Yeah. So do you connect with him at all, and what is your most valuable piece if you have to pick? Uh, I've talked to Longo for sure. Uh, me and Longo go back, um, and yeah, he does. He does a lot of he does a lot of breaks, and he'll jump on with guys who are doing breaks, and that's always cool to see because you got somebody like him, his stature within the game of baseball, and to know that you know he's just like a lot of a lot of other ball players or fans. He geeks out about cards and memory. It's it's awesome. Um, I've got a uh, I've got a Shoyo Tani rookie card, one of five. It's a it's a red parallel. Um, it's pretty pricey. Um, I also I got a I got this pitching rubber. This dude a few years ago threw a perfect game out here on the mound out here. I got the rubber from that day, <laughs> so that's pretty cool. That's probably one of my favorite things I have. Thirty's kind of a big deal. Uh, mild, my lukewarm, uh, cool in his house. That's about it. Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, you are into the broadcasting booth now, so is that something you always kind of eyed? And I, it looks like you're enjoying it a lot. You do a great job. Having a bl thank you, thank you. Uh, having a blast, and I think the reason why it might come across like I'm having fun is because I am having a, like I said, I'm having a kick-ass time. And the game is so fun, and we have so many talented players in our game right now that it's really hard to watch baseball and not have a smile on your face, not enjoy what you're seeing. So I think uh, the game has made it really easy for me to enjoy and to just talk about a game that I love so much. And I, I think diehard fans are the ones watching these games, so I think we connect. Well, it's great to hear. I always look forward to seeing you on the broadcast. And thanks for stopping. It was fun getting to know you, and we'll see you around this year. Right on. All right, Jimmy. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. What's going on, man?